Gaming Bolt presents 15 games you can go about stealing just about everything you need. The video game industry is full of virtual kleptomaniacs. We all do it. We all know stealing is wrong, but when we play a game that allows us to do just that, we usually go crazy. Every time we come across an item or an object that looks even remotely interesting, irrespective of whether or not we may actually need it in the future, we end up borrowing it from its rightful owner. There are certain games that are most enjoyable when it comes to stealing. Games that either have top-notch theft mechanics, or games that let you steal practically everything you can lay your eyes on. For either one of those, or both of them, there are plenty of games out there that let you steal to your heart's content. In this list, we've compiled 15 such games. If there's any games you think we missed, let us know what they are in the comment section below. The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt The Witcher 3 is one of those open-world RPGs that let you steal anything and everything you come across, more or less. From candlesticks and ladles, to swords and maces, to honey and ham sandwiches. Anything you see in the world, you can lift. Just be careful that the guards don't see you. The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim Skyrim is quite like The Witcher 3 in this aspect, or should we say it's quite the other way around seeing as Skyrim came before. Stealing in Skyrim is even more fun, because if people see you, they will become pissed off. Trying to figure out a way to sneak around and steal, or how to put a bucket on someone's head so they can't see you while you rob them blind is a lot of fun. Hell, there's even lockpicking and pickpocketing. Fallout 4 Fallout 4 is almost an exact replica of Skyrim in this regard, but seeing as crafting and survival in the game are almost wholly dependent on hoarding, looting, and collecting supplies, stealing becomes even more important. Moonlighting in Diamond City as a thief of everything from bottle caps to baseball bats to pipes is one of the greatest joys in the world of Fallout 4. Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain The Fulton system is the greatest gift to mankind in the world of the Metal Gear series. If you ever come across an enemy encampment and see an anti-air missile that you like, or a machine gun that looks super badass, Fulton it. See a truck or a jeep you want? Fulton it. See a tank that looks impressive? Freaking Fulton it. See a soldier that looks scary? What the hell? Fulton him too. Dragon Age Origins Dragon Age Origins is quite like The Witcher 3 and Skyrim in this regard. Seeing as it's a very traditional RPG, it centers around loot, and there's plenty of unseemly ways to get your hands on loot. With lockpicketing and pickpocketing systems in place, there's plenty of options for players when it comes to stealing. Just make sure you don't piss off the hermit in the forest. You wouldn't like him when he's angry. Fable 2 Fable 2 was incredible in how much freedom it gave the players to do anything and everything they wanted, and also because it had an adorable dog companion. Shoplifting is especially quite well developed in Fable, and while it's predictably hard to do that in full view of the shopkeepers, getting them drunk definitely helps with the process. Assassin's Creed Syndicate Pickpocketing people is one of the greatest menial joys in the Assassin's Creed series. Walking up to them, stealing a bunch of money from their pockets, and then walking away even as they fail to notice anything's wrong really makes you feel like a shadowy assassin. Syndicate adds to that by letting you hijack horse carts as well. Sure, the driving mechanics in the game aren't quite the best you'll ever see, but something's better than nothing. Deus Ex Human Revolution Being the security head of a major corporation means nothing to Adam Jensen. He didn't ask for this. You can run around breaking into people's homes and offices in Human Revolution, stealing anything you lay your eyes on. Hell, you can even hack into people's computers and read their emails. The best part is, people never suspect you, because they just cannot imagine that the head of security is also one big kleptomaniac. Dishonored series. Dishonored is a game that sees you spending a lot of money on weapons, items, and ammunitions. And as such, stealing stuff and then selling it is something that players usually end up doing a lot of. Especially if you're on a pacifist run, you'll need a hell of a lot of sleeping bolts. Dishonored 2 takes it one step further when in the beginning, you actually end up stealing gold from the royal treasuries. Okay, sure, technically it belongs to you anyway, but who cares about technicalities when it comes to stealing? Mafia 2. Stealing in Mafia 2 was a lot of fun. You could go into any store you wanted and threaten and extort the store owners to give you money, but it didn't just stop there. There were actual consequences to that. If you ever went back to that shop, there'd be cops waiting for you in the area, and to evade them you'd have to change your clothing or appearance. These consequences to your crimes were what made stealing in Mafia 2 so much fun. Red Dead Redemption More so than a lot of other similar games out there, Red Dead Redemption is the perfect outlet for you to show your suppressed criminal colors. 
You can rob trains, stores, banks. You can walk into houses and steal stuff from drawers and chests. You can hold people at gunpoint to rob them. Much like everything else it does, Red Dead Redemption pulls off stealing mechanics rather well. As it should, really. The Wild West wouldn't be very wild otherwise. Thief Series Welcome to the most obvious and unsurprising entry on this list. Seeing as the Thief series is built around the concept of theft and heists, you really should have seen this one coming. What makes the Thief game stand out though in this regard is the fact that stealing stuff in the games require actual real-time planning, lending real weight to your actions. It also helps that the supporting stealth mechanics are top-notch. Divinity Original Sin Similar to Dragon Age Origins and other RPGs of the same vein in this regard, stealing in Divinity Original Sin isn't really a central mechanic, but even so, there's a lot of scope for you to flex your criminal muscles. If ever you require money to purchase some item or weapon and are falling short, stealing valuable things and then selling them is always an option for you. Hell, some of the paintings in the game can be stolen and sold at prices so high they almost break the in-game economy. Hitman Series while the scope for stealing stuff in and of itself isn't too expansive in the Hitman games, the supporting mechanics around it are so good that they make the series worth mentioning in this list, especially some of the earlier games. The whole concept of wearing disguises and then having to make sure that you stay in character around others who might see through the ruse was absolutely thrilling. And while some of the newer games like Absolution boiled that down a lot, the older games in the series will always have a special place in our hearts. Rust Rust centers around the idea that you need to survive in a brutal, ugly online world, so of course it's every man for himself. You can break into other players' houses to steal their stuff, steal things off of their bodies. Basically, anything you can do to increase your own chances of survival in Rust, chances are you probably will end up doing it. And that'll be about it for this one. If you guys like what we're doing at Gaming Vault, please consider subscribing to our channel, and I'll see you guys on the next video.